guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Andrea. And I'm Howard. And we are with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. And we are here today with an unboxing from Universal Yums, which we've had for... A few years, I think. Yeah, a few years now. And they are a subscription box service. Once a month, they send you different treats from around the world. Um, and so every single December, they send you a holiday box. Which, are, which is filled with holiday treats from around the world. And that's what we are unboxing today. So I'll jump in. I will tell you that in every single box, they give you kind of a guide for that box and they give you information on all the different treats in the box. And they also have fun things like um, recipes, trivia, all sorts of little fun things. So we will jump right in with our first item to try, which is... Looks like potato chips. Yes, it's goat cheese and, don't know how to pronounce it, espelette chili? Not sure, but it says it is chips with cream and a hint of heat. I don't think you like goat cheese, do you? I do not like <laughs> goat cheese, but how do you feel about it? Oh, I think if it's cheese, it probably tastes okay. I'm not sure if I've tried goat cheese. You have a small what is one. That? I smell it. You smell it? it? Smells like cheese. Yeah, it does smell like cheese. Okay, cheers. Cheers. I think I taste the cheese. Mm -hmm. It tastes good. Mm. I don't get the heat. I don't oh, get wait, the wait. heat either. Mm -hmm. And a hint of heat. Oh, it's on the back end. Mm -hmm. well, it's, I like not, this. <clears throat> it's not like a really strong heat. It's no. very mild. Very mild, and it gets you on the back end. So initially, I got all cheese. Mm -hmm. And then, wait, wait. Oh, there's a hint. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the potato chip is kind of creamy, but not like a sour cream and onion, chi onion chip that you would get here in the US. It's different. It's really like creamy, like. Like, I don't know, like cream cheese. But it tastes good, I like yeah. it. Yeah, so those are all I'm yours. I'm surprised. <laughs> okay, so next we have green leaf and red flower popcorn. And it is, it says it's a good match. It's Taiwanese and Chinese people refer to this as red flower and green leaves. Um, and this is from Thai, New, New Taipei City, Taiwan. And I forgot to mention the other one is from Saint Gerand, France, the potato chips. Well, there are different colors in here. I guess mm -hmm. one's the... Strawberry and one's, one's the, the matcha. Oh, okay. So you don't like strawberry. And I don't like tea. And you don't like either one of these. I like strawberry, but not matcha. Well, I'll try them both. I'm going to try one at a time so I can taste right. the flavors. Strawberry. Strawberry. I taste strawberry. <laughs> I do. Well, I do too. Strong. Maybe I should have tasted the other one first. But these strawberry is kind of sweet. Okay, now we got right, matcha. I'm not into matcha. Cheers. Mm, yes, I should have had the strawberry first. I don't really taste anything with the matcha. I taste the tea. Oh, I do taste it now. I don't like tea. I don't think I like tea popcorn. Ooh. Yeah, mm. it's not good. I love tea. This, the strawberry part was fine. Mm hmm. The, the, the tea? No. Tea is not good. Tea is not good. Okay, so the next thing we have are Prosecco bonbons. And these are from Devon, UK. These are non-alcoholic. Um, let's see here. And it says Prosecco is more of an Italian thing and they drink more of it than anyone else in the world, followed by the British. Okay. Oh, it's not what I thought. Is it hard? Yes. I think it is. Cheers. Oh, not so hard when you bite into it. Oh. You put it in your mouth and it's hard and then it gets soft. I like it. You probably don't because it's tart. It's tart. <laughs> he doesn't like tart. I do love tart. This is tart. <laughs> <laughs> it's not bad. What happened? The tart hit me. <laughs> hey. Okay. Wait, I gotta finish this one. <laughs> okay, let's go. Okay. Next, we have popcorn. <coughs> popcorn flavored chocolate truffles. And these are Different. from France. I think it's, um, can't pronounce the name of it, but it's from, it's 
somewhere in France. And it says rich cocoa truffles with a salty surprise. It's like popcorn, huh? Like yes, yeah, um, yeah, chocolate covered, chocolate flavored popcorn. Oh, does not look at all like what I thought it was going to look, look, look like. Okay, so it looks like this. I guess it's, oh, it's melting in my finger. Oh, I'll grab one here. Oh, it's gonna fall. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Right, cheers, cheers, cheers. It melted on my finger. Oh, it's like, bite into it. There's like um, popcorn in there. Oh, that is that's actually pretty good. It is kind of messy. It's like a dark chocolate. I got like popcorn in there. But there's, yeah. It tastes like, but it's not like a whole popcorn kernel. It's kind of like a Nestle, what is that called? Crisp? I don't know, I thought it was like a whole popcorn kernel inside that chocolate. Cause I put Crunch. the whole thing in. Nestle's Crunch, that's what it reminds me of. I do taste the popcorn. But it mm. tastes like popcorn. Mm. That's really good. <laughs> I like that. Like no, it? but it is popcorn. I'm looking at the ingredients here, and it is popcorn, but it reminds me of, it has the consistency of a Nestle's Crunch Bar with the rice crisp in there. Okay, I wipe off my hands. Okay. Yes, what's next? So next we have Dolce de, Dolce de Leche filled plum cake. That's interesting. And this looks like, like you. It looks like something you would like. Yes. Because you like cakey kind of a... Picky kind stuff. of things like that. Yeah, I'm not not into it. Um, but it is from Argentina, Santa Fe, Argentina. And and it is the Argentinian oh. Christmas cake is what it says. It reminds me of uh, like a, what's that? Hostess cake or something? No. Kinda, yeah, sort of. Um, this is interesting. It says gooey and sweet. Hmm. That's interesting. Yeah, so I, I Is got, it soft? It is soft. Okay. I get a little stuff on the inside. Okay, oh gosh, I didn't want you, you that big of a piece. All right, let's break it. Okay, cheers. Cheers. Mm. Good, it's soft. It is soft. I think it tastes good. It's not as dry as I thought it would be. It's very it's, moist. It's moist. And I don't normally like stuff like this, but it, it tastes exactly what it sounds like. It's a cake, a little bit dry, but not too bad, with a caramel center. It's not bad. Hmm. Would I buy it? Probably not. <laughs> okay, so next we have assorted baklava. Which I think this is something that they always always send yeah. every year. Now the other stuff I don't really recognize too much, but this I know they send every single year. And it is for, it is from Amon Jordan. And Howard really likes baklava. Well, I didn't before I got this. I think I didn't like it before, or I didn't think I would like it. And then you fell in love with it, huh? Well, I like this one. I don't know if I'd like all baklavas, but this is pretty good. If I could open it, oh, here we go. So it comes in a little box. A little box, oops. And I open it up, looking like a gift, and there it is. Mm, Several so pieces. Are you gonna try a piece? Uh, yeah, I'll try a little piece. Ooh, uh oh, I broken broke, half. Broke I'll my... take the half. You got the good part at the bottom. I'll switch you. Oh. So he good. took it out and it broke in half. So yeah. we're splitting that. Cheers. Cheers. Good. Sweet. Very sweet. Okay. I like sweet. What's next? So next we have Kent Crisp. It's like potato chips? Mm-hmm. And it says roast beef and Spitfire L potato crisp. That doesn't and, sound good to me, roast beef. Yeah, roast beef sounds good to me. Oh, and well. these are from the UK. Warmingford, Colchester, UK. Probably saying that wrong. They look like potato chips. Yeah, they do. Look like kettle chips, actually. Cheers. Oh. I taste beer or something. I guess that's ale. Oh yeah. I taste the beer. I taste it too. <laughs> I don't really care for beer. Mmm. It's a strong beer taste. Well, yeah. It's I didn't Spitfire L. I didn't 
it's, it's beer. Yeah, it's like a hoppy beer. Hmm, okay. Yeah, not my Not favorite. my thing either. Okay, next we have Assorted Turkish Delight. I wonder what that is. We've had that before. Not necessarily from this box, but I'm not a big fan of it. It's kind of like a, uh, I don't know. It's, it has corn, it's sugar syrup with starch. And they have three different flavors. They have rose, lemon, and orange. Rose, and it's like that powdery jelly candy, remember, in the square? I don't remember, but let's I'm not, see. It's, it's not my favorite thing in the world. Oh, exactly now you what remember? you said. No, I don't remember it, but I see it exactly what you said it is. I think that's the rose, and I definitely do not like You want to try it, or you're not going to try it? I don't like rose right, flavor. Gonna, you're you're going to eat the rose one? Well, I don't know which is which. They all look the same. Okay, go for it. I, I'm stepping out of this one. Is that rose? Because there's only rose, lemon, and orange. Mm, I don't think it's rose. Probably orange. Okay, how is it? It's sweet. It's very dense and like, like a gummy beer, but not as uh, not as hard. Not as hard. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I don't like Turkish Delight. It's not bad. Thanks for taking one for the team. Yes. Okay, so next we have Cappuccino Cream Cocoa Pandoro, which is from Pierre, Pierre Antonio, Italy. I'm probably saying that wrong. This looks like something we had before. You think? Yep. Um, it's a simple yeasted sweet bread, it says, filled with a deeply decadent cappuccino cream. Oh, yes. Sounds like me. It does sound like you. It reminds me of a panettone. So this is what it looks like. I'm going to cut it open and see. I guess something is coming out the top. Probably the uh, yeah, I smell cappuccino. The, I smell the cappuccino. I don't smell Very it. Strong. Let me cut it. See what I, what we get. Oh, I don't see anything. Ta -da! I do see it. I see the cream. See the There's cream. There's hardly anything there. there. There's enough. Oh, I, 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 I thought we filled. Anyway, you gonna try a piece? Yes, I'll try a little piece. Oh, a little piece. Because I don't really care for. I'm not a cappuccino coffee oh, drinker. Oh, now I get more of the cream. Oof. Take a little piece without the cream. All right, cheers. Cheers. Mm, good. I taste the Does coffee. Does your mommy have a panettone? Taste the coffee, which I like. Um, I put too much in my mouth, so <laughs> not full. But I think it tastes good. Yeah, and for me, it tastes like a like a like a panettone, a sweet bread. Which is not bad, but I definitely get the taste get the taste of the cappuccino, which I'm not, you know, a huge fan of. Yes, it's good. So next we have this is from Devon, UK, uh, Christmas pudding fudge. Uh, this sounds interesting. So when um, I hear Christmas pudding fudge, mm -hmm. I, I say, "Ooh, that's probably gonna taste good." And they mention figgy pudding fudge. All right, I don't know. Which is it's made of individually dry wrapped. Oh. You want to cut one, which is made of dried fruit, um, candied fruit peel, brandy, and spices. Oh, sounds good. <coughs> Excuse me. You want a half or just a piece? Oh, half. No way do I want a whole piece. No, that's a. Uh, just a half. Yes. So you choose. There you go. It just smells like regular fudge, though. Mmm. <laughs> That's a big reaction. I think it's good. It's very spicy, like mm -hmm. um, like gingerbread or spice cake or something like mm -hmm. that. Mm. It tastes good to me. This is box is, is a winner for you so far, huh? Yeah, except for maybe the ale. Okay. Last thing we have are the cinnamon spice cookies. Okay. It says these are from Denmark. And it says crisp, sweet, and spiced with Danish molasses. Mm. Um, to me, just looking at the picture, it kind of reminds me of a Biscoff cookie, which I really like. Mm -hmm. That's what they look like. You want your whole one? Oh, yes. Hey. It smells like Biscoff. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. 
It's very dry cookie. It's like a Biscoff. Biscoff is kind of dry. This tastes exactly like a Biscoff cookie. You need milk or something to eat with this. <laughs> I like it. So that is everything in the box. What was your favorite treat? Oh, I don't know. Oh, they're all so good. I did not, I know you asked me my favorite, but I'm gonna push it around to my least favorite, which is probably the ale. Okay. Um, which was your favorite or least favorite? Okay, so I'm gonna have to say that my favorite was, I really like these Prosecco Sour Chewy Candies. You know I love stuff like this, yeah. so this was my absolute favorite. My least favorite, I guess it's not fair to say, but I don't like Turkish Delight. I know that would have definitely been on the list, but I would have to say this popcorn, just oh. because of the green tea aspect of it. the strawberry and forget yeah. about the tea Yeah, part. that would probably be my least favorite. Wow, I thought it would be the ale. That I could tolerate a little bit more than that green tea popcorn. Get a whiff. No. <laughs> All right, so that is everything in the box. I hope you guys enjoyed this special holiday edition of Universal Yums. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. And if you have not subscribed to our channel, we'd certainly love to have you. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.